Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Mentimateria Let's Play for XCOM Long War. I'm Arad, your host, and when we left off, we finally got to the mission I was certainly waiting for, which is the Van Dorn Rescue Mission. Now, uh, in the basic mission for the vanilla XCOM, uh, this is just a standard council mission. You save the general, take him back, and then you get a reward. For this mission, it's going to be uh, with the Long War, which means at the end of the mission, we will be getting Van Dorn, private friendly, and uh, some other miscellaneous council rewards, money, panic reduction, and I believe two engineers. Uh, now, I am not going to pr uh, sing the praises of Van Dorn. I know a lot of you are rather sick of it at this point, so let's just go ahead and get this started. This is a very uh, one of the standard maps uh, on the highway. Lots of clear lines of sight, uh, thin men, and uh, sectoids are what I'm anticipating, but who knows, I could be surprised. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. UN official Peter Van Dorn and his entourage were caught in an explosion that decimated a nearby bridge, and we're picking up hostiles converging on the area. We need you to confirm Mr. Van Dorn is still alive and bring him back safe before the whole place is overrun. New objective received. Hey, Friendly's over here. All right. So, Private Friendly is right here. That probably means the Thin Men or whatever it is are going to be right on the other side of that burning car. All right. I think we'll be safe to at least move up to the first line of cover here without triggering... A response. Now that being said, I wish I had brought more battle scanners. I would totally drop one on the other side of the car just to make sure there's nothing else. Uh, I'm not confident I can move my soldiers up to here without triggering them yet. Got it covered. Location confirmed. And at this point, it's just re just getting everyone into position for the next turn. Uh, the next turn is when we'll be swinging around that burning car and uh, engaging. I'm also playing things a bit conservatively, uh, since I don't want to run the risk of an accidental activation before before we're ready. Enemy spotted. Ah, nuts. Oh, that is not good. Well, at least they're not <clears throat> at least they're not thin men. Uh, I always hate having to deal with them. It also looks like both of those sectoids went into cover uh, where I can flank them, which is excellent. Excellent. Now the question is, will I be able to get myself into a position where I can abuse that? Ah, uh, there we go. There's the thin man I was expecting. Oh. Location confirmed. There's a team here to get Van Dorn, right? He ran up ahead to find one of our men who got caught in the blast when those freaks hit the bridge. Look, we're in no shape to take those things out. You can go grab Van Dorn. We'll get you back to your aircraft. Uh, 
Ah, that thin man complicates things a little bit. Stepping off. Je balance la fumée. <laughs> so, uh, what I'll probably end up doing is uh these two, sh these two soldiers will take shots at these two aliens to knock them out. The thin man will either take a shot at these people in cover and hopefully miss, or uh, most likely drop an acid on these two uh, just to tie them down, at least for the moment. Either way, I, am, I don't anticipate any problems. But again, that being said, this is XCOM. Surprises are the name of the game. Go. Location confirmed. Heading to that location. Now at this point, it's just getting everyone into cover and ready for the next turn. Well, okay, that was within my expected parameters. But he's being smart about this. I think uh, he's in a position where I cannot flank him, which is rather unfortunate. Moving. Nuts. Okay. And that acid is also in a place where I cannot get at him very easily. Masterfully done, Mr. Thin Man. Let's see, where's my medic? Where's my medic? I would have loved to have had my engineer over here to grenade him. That's likely not going to happen. Yeah, like I said, that's a really good acid placement for the Thin Man since it really ties down the central avenue of approach. Ah, let's take a shot. Hey, hey! Well, never mind then. I guess I just need to have one guy go up and take a shot. I could, I could totally see myself just blowing my entire turn trying uh, to kill him using regular ballistics, and then the first guy I try he actually gets it. Let's go ahead and just shoot. 
shuffle him into cover. On my way. Ready, Commander. Since there's not exactly a time limit or anything time sensitive like meld or anything else, it pays to just take things uh, slow and steady. I will let that acid dissipate. And then my uh, assault, yeah, assault. I'll let him recover from the acid before we move it, move forward too much further. There's likely at least one alien pod down in this lower area, most likely two. I hear sectoids. Affirmative. You the ops team? Get over here. Oh, there's Van Dorn. We have a new objective. So the uh, aliens are likely right in this area. We got to make sure to get our soldiers moved around this. I'd hate for them to get poisoned as they're going past. Now, in this next area, engineers are more useful than uh, rocketeers for clearing cover because you can't, you know, arc the rocket over the uh, truck bed here. Whereas grenades, you can just bounce them over to deal with that. That'll be something we will deal with next turn. I'm also not going to be moving the entire team forward uh, since we want to have people in position for when the Overwatch spawns show up. Once we do get a hold of Van Dorn. There's one pot activated. Get down here. Not fair if I have all the fun. Okay, so I guess it's just one pod down there. It's just these two. I don't know if this cover can be destroyed. Oh, wait. Hey, hey, both of them can be. Now, ideally, this will destroy both of their cover, which will allow me for flank shots. Or not. Never mind. I find myself missing my sapper engineers just for their cover-destroying capabilities, but... It's a bit too early in the game for that, and plus I think I was going to be trying a different build for my engineers to uh, uh, make them a little, a little bit more versatile with uh, support. Oh, Mr. Wood racks up his second kill. Now, in the normal uh, game of XCOM with this mission, there would be a pack of Thin Men or two up in this uh, uh, upper area. And it doesn't look like that's the case. Oh, wait, there it is. Not exactly Thin Men, but it's um, Sectoids. Four. 
And I figure if they wander in our direction, I can always say hello with the rockets, so. Or sniper. We'll deal with that later. J vais. Seventy-five percent. Ah, shit. Like a well, uh, let's see here. We'll go for the closer one, and then the next turn, uh, the other one will likely be uh, mosey on into our line of fire. Now, if this was uh, on a later mission, I would not have done that, since that gives him his free moves during his turn. I'm under fire. You coming down here or what? If I don't come down there pretty quick, there, uh, Mr. Mr. Van Dorn's just going to round this truck here and strangle that sectoid with his bare hands. And we can't have that. I need my soldiers to get the experience first. Taken care of. So that is going to be the last of the aliens uh, before we get to Mr. Dorn. So at this point, what we're going to do is start getting people into position to deal with the overwatches once they do show up. Of course, we do have to kill that thing first. I'm on it, Commander. I would have been very sad if he had had not died to that shotgun blast. And wow, he did almost survive it. Two damage mitigation and four uh, damage from the shotgun exactly for his hit points. Double time. I'm on it, Commander. Now, uh, once we get Van Dorn uh, tapped, he is, as people are familiar, he's going to spawn a whole bunch of uh, Thin Men that are going to try to stop him from escaping. And uh, this will be another good place to uh, demonstrate one of the changes I made to the I&I &I files, which should either reduce or eliminate the chance for Thin Men to drop into heavy cover for Overwatch. I believe this will be either uh, half cover or... Just, you know, standing out in the middle of nowhere. And for me, that's the hardest thing with these missions is the thin men who drop and automatically overwatch in heavy cover. Moving. Thank God you're here. I'm still breathing, but I can't say the same for a lot of my boys. Let's get out of here before any more of those things show up. I don't know what outfit you're from, but I haven't seen gear like that before. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. Gotcha, moving. Strike one. We've got a wave of x rays closing on your location. Eyes oh, that's unfortunate. Outside of my Overwatch traps. That being said. Mr. Kojima can destroy him with a shotgun and send him flying off the bridge. 
And his, I believe his acid clou cloud is also in a place that will not hurt anyone. I didn't even show up on the map. I guess because it was uh, outside of the playable area, it just didn't even appear. We get out of here alive. I just hope I get another shot at these bastards. I owe it to my men. Headed your way, strike one. Get ready. Again. Okay. Well, we'll just blast him like we did last one. Of course, uh, I, I did notice that was an 87% chance to hit. If I, uh, if I had missed, uh, Mr. Kojima would have, been, would have been in a very unfortunate position. All right, and it's going to be next turn that Mr. Dorn will be... Extracted. I guess that's it. Let's just go ahead and get Mr. Dorn back to the Sky Ranger. I owe you one. Seriously. I wouldn't be here without your help. Executed to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. Now back to base. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. All right. I would have liked a little bit more promotions to be spread around, but I can live with this. So uh, 120 bucks, panic reduction, engineers, and two new soldiers, which is a very nice payout this early in the game. Let's go ahead and take an eyeball on those soldiers. So we have Mr. Van Dorn, who is actually uh, uh, the actual model for the character is, I guess, pulled from the, the character model from this mission. Uh, with the Long War, they've also added a voice pack uh, with the Van Dorn. Um, I'm not certain how they do it, uh, but they were able to get some lines from Van Dorn. They aren't the, the lines that you hear from the mission where you recruit him, uh, which would have been a little bit annoying, but uh, I enjoy it, and he is generally a badass, all, all things considered. And in the uh, grand tradition from uh, uh, Beagle Rush, we're going to go ahead and Make him a gunner. With my gunners, I typically like to make them as like a debuffer. When they when they shoot, they uh, do hollow targeting and shredding ammo, and uh, that sets it up for other people to make the kill. Or alternately, if it's a a uh, mechanical enemy, uh, I can actually equip heat ammo on them so that they can do additional damage that way. And I believe we should have a Mr. Friendly. This is the actual soldier that was uh, waiting for us right by the uh, entrance area, who was saying about Van Dorn went back into the back into the fight to get one of his fellow soldiers. All right. Now, just to refresh my memory, we're going to check our building status. Once this gets done excavating, I can start uh, a thermal generator there, and then I'll excavate this. And then from there, this would be a repair uh, repair facility, a repair bay. And then this will likely end up being the foundry as soon as the research is done for it. Oh, 
Oh yes, always need more engineers. The new engineers arrived this morning. Oh really? We're always glad to have more help down here. There we go. Ah, uh, let's see here. Well, we'll need to sell some things. It's a bit painful to let a lot of meld go, but uh, at this point we need more power than meld. Now this should give us enough power to last for a significant amount of time, but it will take about three weeks. I just realized I don't have enough money for this. I really wish it would tell me how much it was so I don't have to sell things until, uh, until I have enough money to get it. Standing by for launch. Excellent. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Wait a the minute. Engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. That's right. I wanted to get a lab up as soon as possible, but now the question is, will I have enough money? I know some of some of you may be cringing in horror at what I just did, but really, uh, getting the labs up as soon as possible saves a lot of money later down the road. And abductions. We're receiving several urgent requests for. Oh, assistance. and this is a moderate. Abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. All right, and this is going to be in Canada. You know, if I didn't know about her, I'd swear this was the Newfoundland mission, based on where it is. But, um, let's see, in St. John's. Anyway, this will be the mission What we'll do for the next time. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the team set up <clears throat> uh, to give everyone a preview for what's coming next. All right, so we've gone ahead and made our standard team. Uh, all of the eight classes are represented. Uh, we are debuting Van Dorn and uh, Specialist Friendly for the next mission as a uh, gunner and rocketeer. I'm hoping those two will be very, very effective over the next coming few missions. Uh, but for now, we're going to have to wait for next week for that. I hope to see everyone at that time. Thanks again for tuning in.